Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Avalanche AVAX daily update. We are going to see two charts and we are going to do a non-biased technical analysis. First, AVAX against Bitcoin and secondly, AVAX against USDT. Before we continue, join the monthly subscription, buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto is the link you will find in the description box and in the comment section. What you will get is an automated system with 200 altcoins and you will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell. But it doesn't stop there. You will also get a manual system with 90 plus win ratio, 90% win ratio and more. And of course, you can get educational videos, personal guidance and many, many other things right there. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's proceed real quickly into the avalanche. So a midterm target for me is for avalanche against bitcoin of course we are talking about first is the 0 0.2026057 if you multiply this number let's say with a 65k bitcoin okay 65k then what you will get probably is around 170 tether usd around there i think um avalanche okay 170 tether usd if you multiply this number right here with a 65k of Bitcoin. That's what the price label means. This price label comes because we divide the avalanche price to Bitcoin's price. Okay, so right there, I think that I have as a midterm target this price right there. So on the four hour frame, you can see that we have a very, very high risk. Avalanche doesn't seem to care. You can see that we are on extreme impulsive wave mode here, but at the same time, it's possible that we correct on the short term. What this means is that we are going to see some support levels. Fisher Transform is at an all-time high right here. You can see how far it has reached. Above around 6 it is right now. And we have a very strong high actually risk with the Komo Channel Index. And Stochastic Corsair is not actually into an overbought situation. That is crazy, crazy stuff right there. Um, I will just remove the drawings. Please write down this price label for avalanche and i am going to redraw the drawings right there for the avax against bitcoin chart and we can see some support levels let's say that we stop around here for example okay so what we have is the first one which is at the 0 0.20218 second one and the third one right here so i would suggest that you get into when we just consolidate for a bit let's see if we just stop at the 20 day ma or not because right there you can see that we were on an extreme impulsive wave mode on the four hour frame that means we were riding the 20 day ma and still kept going upwards and upwards all the day all right so we had a very very high risk but at the same time we were on an impulsive wave on the daily frame though you can see that we have a very high risk with the RSI. You can see where it has gone, right? Very, very huge risk right there. And with the Commodity Channel Index Stochastic RSI, Avalanche can't go up forever. On the weekly frame, we have the same RSI above the 70 and so on. The Stochastic RSI though can grow even more. And that is the best part. That's why I think for the weekly frame, we can go to the 0 0.0026 and not only we can grow even even higher let's see the potential on the four hour frame for avalanche in the usdt so i am going here to zoom in a little bit so you can see the midterm price target i have 175 usd for avalanche can we get there can we go there uh of course we cannot go all the way upwards okay we need to correct a little bit we cannot go there uh just going up and up and up without correcting without having a healthy correction the market needs a healthy correction right now and why i would say that it needs it right now is because that we have a high risk on the four hour frame that being said we can grow potentially even more but i would suggest you keep this support level right here 127 the 120 and of course the 115 tether usd for avalanche okay pay attention to those support levels from now on we need a healthy correction we have a very high risk on the four hour frame it is very healthy that avalanche will correct just a tiny bit okay 
you can see on the daily frame what we have right there is also a very high risk with the daily RSI we can grow potentially even more though but you can see we have a very very high risk right there on the weekly frame if we see that for USDT, we have even the stochastic RSI in an overbought, while the other risk metrics, for example, RSI, are in an extreme overbought situation. We do not have any bearish RSI divergence on the weekly frame. That's why I do believe, and I truly believe, we can make it to the 175 Tether USD. But on the short term, on the 4 hour frame, if you want to be more precise, I would say just see these numbers right there 127. 120, 115. I know that it sounds like Avalanche will keep going even higher to the 175. However, right now, focus on the support levels. Okay, 0 0.5, 0 0.382, 0 0.236 Fibonacci retracement levels. You can see the price targets, you can write them down, you can do whatever you want, pause the video, and of course, you can see the next major resistance level at the 175 for the mid term. I really do believe it can go there. However, however, always be careful because we hold an extreme high risk on the weekly frame. That's what happened with FTM as well. People thought that it was going all the way upwards. Now it is correcting and will keep correcting on the weekly frame. Okay, so you want to take profits. You want to see eventually uh, to take profits for Am from Avalanche. And of course, if we close below on the weekly frame at the 127, if we close below the 127, this would mean that probably we are going to find a correction a little bit earlier. We are going to correct there and of course go up afterwards to the 175. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to join the monthly subscription. Buy me a coffee slash mind your crypto is the link you will find in the comment section in the description down below. Thank you and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.